Hello, good evening. This is Paritosh Thakur. Uh, two days before, I have visited one restaurant and they are cook actually saying to me that their cooking oil always turned black. So we came uh, to a and we did a couple of experiments and what the experiment result is that I am sharing with you. Uh, first of all, the cooking oil exposed to high temperature changes its color due to two facts. The first one, when the oil that comes into contact with the air changes its color due to a process called lipid peroxidation. And this, uh, this kind of reaction does not happen only with the edible oil or the cooking oil. It happens most of the edible oil. So, uh, <coughs> suppose if you are uh, heating to the sugar, it gives a, a brownish characteristic golden brown color to the bread. Uh, that is called a Millard reaction. Uh, similarly, the, most of the syrup like caramel syrup, so all uh, uh, liquid item or the or the edible item when exposed to the higher temperature, it uh, changes its color, but it is not changes the color black, it changes the deep brown, that the sample I am showing to you. Uh, second thing, the reason for this, the fragment that remain in the fried food, uh, of the fried food at the bottom of the frying pan changes the oil little further. Actually, when you are not setting enough of the overlap ingredient that left into the fried oil that cooks and burns and that gives the bitter and blackish color of the oil. So, the conclusion is, it is not your cooking oil that turns black. It is the uh, leftover ingredient from the fried food that left at the bottom and that uh, turned the color uh, from brown to blackish. So here, uh, when you are uh, frying some item, here the key point is the smoke point. The smoke point is the temperature where oil uh, breaks down into the uh, free fatty acid and visibly produces a smoke. So higher the smoking point, uh, the more stable oil, more stable uh, the oil it is, or the more versatile oil it is. Uh, similarly, to uh, if you check with the thermometer, uh, the uh, the smoke point of different oil you will find it differently. But uh, 162 is on an average uh, smoke point of the deep frying oil. So when you are frying, you just keep uh, remember to this temperature. Or if you are continuing this, it may reach to the flash point and possibly starts fire. Then the second thing, for the deep frying, always prefer to the higher smoking point. For the reference, I have added two slides so where you can check the smoke point and uh, for the next time you can buy to the higher smoking point oil. Uh, the recommendation from our side, we are never recommending to reuse the oil. But suppose uh, you are using it second time, then uh, after the first fry, don't wait to it more cool, it's the normal temperature, then filter with, with the coffee filter and whatever the leftover at the bottom, the black part, that better to remove it. That remove it and the, this oil, the, the remaining oil must cover it immediately because as we know, uh, the oil exposed to the higher temperature go under the lipid peroxidation. To maintain the consistent temperature, we also recommend to have a thermometer if you are frying for a longer time. Then the, uh, the third recommendation is that whenever you are frying, the item before placing into the uh, frying pan must shake enough so whatever the ingredient that is dry should fall down outside rather than in the frying pan. And if it is semi paste better to strain it properly so when you are placing it, the minimum amount of possibility uh, of that ingredient to fall down in the oil. Now, uh, this is the smoke point of all the oil. So before frying or before you planning, you can refer to this list and then plan further according to your period. So higher the smoking point, more versatile your oil is. That's all. Whatever uh, the question you may have, you please write in the comment and I will try to answer this all. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.